So I was in the hospital for about 36 hours, and then finally being released, I actually feel so much better, and I can actually breathe. I'm just supposed to be taking. I'll be chasing What's going on guys, it's your boy here with another video and today I hope you're having a fantastic day. We're back on Black Ops 2. Now before this video even starts, I want you guys to go down to the comment section below and comment the word that's on the screen right now. I'm going to be randomly selecting somebody in the comment section to shout out into the next video. With all that said and done, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Alright, so originally I was going to do face cam for this video, but the face cam just wasn't working out. It was freezing up my computer and I'm going to try to get that fixed before the next video, but I have no clue if it's going to work, but I will eventually get face cam on. Alright, so the main reason I really haven't been on YouTube or made any videos for the past few days. I've been on Twitter. If you guys don't already follow me on Twitter, it's right there. It's gonna come on the screen right now. But the reason I haven't been on YouTube is just because I was taken into the hospital. So the reason I was taken into the hospital is because I was having breathing problems and it was because I had inhaled a lot of bleach from bleaching my hair. All right, anyways, back to the point. On Saturday night, last Saturday night, me and my friends, we decided to bleach our hair. But we all decided to bleach our hair because two of our hairs were pink already and one of them was black. Me and my friend, we were trying to get our hair, trying to get the pink out of our hair, but it ended up just turning into like a softer pink. And so the way we were doing it, we were in a bathroom with closed doors the doors were closed the window was closed but everything was closed when we were in the bathroom and I ended up doing the dye for both of their hair I ended up getting the dye on my hair as well I felt it coming on in the first place when I started not to be able to breathe but if I'm cleaning and I inhale it I start coughing anyways so I just was like yeah it's gonna go away any like I just didn't worry about it but then the next day it happened again and I couldn't breathe and so I got taken into the hospital on Sunday night, Monday morning, and I was in there for about seven, eight hours. Those seven or eight hours, I was just, I was having a hard time breathing. Eventually they gave me a few breathing treatments and I ended up being better than I was and I they sent me home with an inhaler. So that was Monday, my Monday. I stayed at home. I went to sleep for the rest of the day and I kind of slept for the rest of the day. I didn't go to school. Then Tuesday, I tried to go to school and I had to leave early because I couldn't breathe. Wednesday comes, I go to school. I go to school for the full day and then I go to work for the full day. So it was my first day back of not being able to breathe and then going to work for both of those days. So after going to work and school, I seemed to be fine after school, but after work, I had been working myself too hard and I ended up overworking myself, which made me start to not be able to breathe. Wednesday night, I actually went back into the hospital around 12 o'clock. I figured that it was going to be the exact same thing that happened Sunday night, that I would go in there, they'd give me a few breathing treatments, and I would be better than I was. Then I was in there for a little longer than I had expected. They had moved me to a different room. I started off, they gave me a few breathing treatments. I still was breathing heavily. I still was working hard to breathe. My heart rate was up to 120, and my average heart rate is around 55 to 60. So after a while, I decided, you know, we've been here long enough. I'm going to try to get some rest while I'm there. And I start to go to sleep. And as soon as I fall asleep, the amount of oxygen I get starts to drop, like, dramatically. So then the oxygen in my blood drops down to about 60 instead of what it was supposed to be up in the hundreds or, like, low 85, 90, whatever, whatever it was. But it drops down to 60 when I pass out. And I hear beep, beep, beep on the thing, and I get woken up by my mom. And that happens a few times. It actually it happens probably around... 10 times before I just told myself that I'm just gonna decide not to go to sleep so then they don't really know why that keeps happening so they decide to say they're gonna move me up to another room like admit me into the actual hospital so after they moved me up to the actual hospital I decided that I wanted to actually get some sleep they really didn't know what the what was causing the oxygen in my blood to go down a lot like as it was and I have no clue what it was still right now after I've been released they don't know what was causing it so I was in the hospital for about 36 hours and then finally being released I actually feel so much better and I can actually breathe. I'm just supposed to be taking my inhaler every four hours for four puffs. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy Deeks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow all of my social medias. Follow my Twitter, turn the notifications on, stay active. Don't forget to comment down that word down in the comment section below. With all ado, I hope you guys enjoy the shot. It's been your boy Deeks. I'm out, guys. Peace. I've not played this game in two years. He did not hit. Badass. Like he did not. Oh, he did it. Oh. The guy in front of me, I thought it was him.